Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the City Council meeting. Let the record show that all members of the City Council are present, with the exception of Councilman Ted Fairbanks, who is going to be joining us at a later date, or at a later time. <laughs> There is a copy of the Open Meetings Act posted in the meeting room and is accessible to members of the public at any time during the course of this meeting. First item on the agenda, this is after the election, we have uh, the certificate of election. Mr. Catlin. Mayor, I move that the certificate of election of the November 8, 2016 general election as certified by the county clerk be received and placed on file. Okay. Moved by Catlin, seconded by Morgan, that the certificate of election of November 8, 2016, general election as certified by the county clerk be received and placed on file. Your vote, please. And that is approved 7-0. Seven, uh, seven Next item on the agenda is approve the council member public officials bond. Mayor, I move that the following public officials' bonds be received and placed on file. Council members David P.D. Catlin, Nationwide Mutual Insurance, <coughs> Phil Cook, RLI Insurance Company, Ted Fairbanks, State Farm Insurance, Richard Kerr, Western Surety Company. Moved by Catlin, seconded by Morgan. Following public officials' bonds be received and placed on file, council members David P.D. Catlin, Nationwide Mutual, Phil Cook, RLI Insurance Company, Ted Fairbanks, State Farm Insurance, and Richard Kerr, Western Surety Company. And your vote, please. And that is approved 7-0. Next item is the administration of the oath of office. And Aaron Sadoff, our city clerk, will deliver the oath of office to the city council members and to the airport authority board members. If everyone would uh, join us out front. against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and I will take this obligation freely and without any mental reservation for any purpose of invasion, and that I will faithfully and impartially perform the duties of the office of the airport authority member according to the law to the best of my ability. And I do further swear that I do not advocate nor am I a member of any political party or organization that advocates the overthrow of the government of the United States or of this state by force or violence, and that during such times as I am in this position, I will not advocate or become a member of any political party or organization that advocates the overthrow of the government of the United States or of this state by force or violence. So help me God. You guys do that one more time. This is the seventh line. By memory this time? Now, do we give these out to the audience like the president did? <laughs> Whatever you want to do, Rich. Congratulations, gentlemen. Aaron, thank you very much. The next item of business is the election of a council president. And I would accept nominations from uh, the city council members that are present. P.D. Catlin's been nominated. Second. Second. Only a second. We should know if there's other nominations. Is there any other nominations? I move that the uh, nominations for council president, or yeah, the council president cease, and the <coughs> P.D. Catlin be voted on. So you actually second the motion from nope. Claybaugh? No, he made a motion. I made the motion. Is there a second to, to Bob's motion? Is there a second to second. second? Second. Been moved by Morgan, seconded by party, that the nominations for the city council cease and that the name of David Catlin be voted on by... Does it need to be written? It doesn't, it doesn't need to be written. Okay. Just, Just by, by roll vote. Okay. 
Let's just do it this way. That is approved 7 0. Did he abstain? No. no. <laughs> David Petey Catlin has been elected to serve as council president of the city council for the next 18 years. Next item on the agenda is the consent agenda. All items under the consent agenda are considered to be routine by the city council and will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a council member or citizen so requests. First item on the agenda is item A, approve agenda as submitted. Item B, receive and place on file all notices pertaining to this meeting. Item C, receive and place on file all materials having any bearing on this meeting. Item D, approval of minutes of regular meeting on November 21st, 2016 as on file in the city clerk's office. Item E, approval of minutes of work session on November 28th, 2016 as on file in the city clerk's office. Item F, approval of treasurer's report of claims in the amount of $248,800.22. Item G, approval of Boswell report of claims in the amount of $906.44. Item H, resolution number 5988, appointing Larry Ramsey to the Beatrice Housing Authority. Item I, approval of change order number three, a decrease in the amount of $19,520.13 to RL Tiemann Construction, Inc for the Standing Bear Trail 2015 project. Item J, Resolution 5989, entering into an intergovernmental, intergovernmental agreement with the Nebraska Department of Environmental Quality for the purpose of the discharge of grant funds for the implementation of activities identified in the City of Beatrice's National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System Municipal Separate Storm Sewer System Permit. Is there any item that any member from the City Council would like removed from the consent agenda? Anyone from the public? All right, Mr. Catlin. Mayor, I move that all the items listed under the consent agenda be approved, accepted, and or ratified as presented. Second. Moved by Catlin, second by Claybaugh, that the items listed under the consent agenda be approved. Your vote, please. That is approved 7-0. Next item on the agenda is a public hearing on the acquisition of real property described as follows. Lot 2, Block 89, Original Town, now the City of Beatrice Gage County, Nebraska, commonly referred to as 717 Bell Street, Beatrice, Nebraska. Uh, if you look on page 39 of your packet, you'll see a map of where this uh, particular parcel is located. Uh, it's like we, As we say, it's 717 Bell Street. This has a house that's located on the on the, uh, the lot, it's a dilapidated house that is, uh, needs to be demolished. We have worked out an agreement with the owner in which they will deed us this property and pay us $2,000 uh, to take ownership of this lot. We will then demolish the house and have a vacant lot there uh, that we can then turn back in and have it reused, hopefully by somebody else to build some other type of house there, duplex something. Questions? Anyone? Comments? Anyone from the public? Mr. Catlin, you want to close the public hearing? Mayor, I move that the public hearing be closed at 7.08 p.m. Second. Moved by Catlin, seconded by Billsbach, that the public hearing be closed at 7.08 p.m. Your vote, please. That is approved 7-0. Next item is a public hearing on the acquisition of real property described as follows. The west half of lot 37 and the east 28 feet of lot 38, McConnell's subdivision of south half of the southeast quarter, section 32, township 4, range 6 east of the 6th principal meridian, Beatrice Gage County, Nebraska, commonly referred to as 728 West Mary Street, Beatrice, Nebraska. Something this, similar? Uh, this is a parcel of ground. It is uh, unimproved, so there's nothing on the parcel. It's a bare piece of ground. It is located near Cedar School. Uh, the owner of this parcel uh, contacted the city, indicated they were willing to donate to the city at, at no cost. She's not going to make any contributions. She's not going to charge us anything. Uh, we simply get the lot. Uh, once again, it's another parcel that we hope to be able to then turn back over to uh, somebody else to put some type of residence on um, and make it uh, a viable parcel again. Taxes on both of these properties current? They'll be current or will be current before the transfer occurs. Okay. Questions? Rich? If either one of these two parcels sell, uh, do, uh, what do we ask? Usually what the appraised value of the land is, or do we just kind of make a deal on it? Or? 
uh, generally, you know, if somebody's interested in one of those, we tell them to make us an offer. We we'll bring it to this body, let you guys decide if you think that's a fair price or not, and and handle them that way. Okay. Any other questions? Anyone from the public? All right, Mr. Catlin, we can close the public hearing. Mayor, I move that the public hearing be closed at 7.10 p.m. Second. Moved by Catlin, seconded by party that the public hearing be closed at 7.10 p.m. Your vote, please. That is approved 7-0. Next item is item 4A, resolution number 5990, executing all necessary documents to acquire real estate from Robert L. Smith. Mayor, I move the resolution number 5990 be passed and approved. Second. Adopted. Moved by Catlin, seconded by Billsbach, that the resolution number 5990 be passed and approved. Uh, this is the resolution for the first parcel we talked about at 717 Bell Street. Mayor, yes. I, need to Bill. I need to abstain on this one. All right, I sir. work with this gentleman, so. Okay. Any other questions? Public? All right, your vote, please. That is approved six yes and one abstention. Resolution number 5990 has been passed and approved. Next item is item 4B, resolution number 5991, executing all necessary documents to acquire real estate from Peggy J. Coates, trustee of the Peggy J. Coates Revocable Trust, dated November 14th, 2006. Mayor, I move that resolution number 5991 be passed and adopted. Second. By Catlin, seconded by party, that resolution number 5991 be passed and adopted. Any further discussion? This is simply the resolution for the parcel of ground that's at 728 West Mary Street. Anybody from the public? All right, your vote, please. And that is approved 7-0. Resolution number 5991 has been passed and adopted. Next item is an, uh, item, uh, an ordinance to amend section 13-38 and to repeal section 19-13 of the Beatrice City Code regarding sale of goods on public property. Mayor, I move that said ordinance be given number 16-063, the title therefore be approved, the rules be suspended, and said ordinance be read by number only three times tonight. Second. Moved by Catlin, seconded by Cook, that the ordinance be given number 16-063, the title thereof approved, the rules suspended, and the ordinance be read by number only three times tonight. Motion to suspend the rules is not debatable. Vote please, and that is approved 7-0. Ordinance number 16-063 by number the first time, ordinance number 16-063 by number the second time, and ordinance number 16-063 by number the third and final time. Mayor, I move that ordinance number 16-063 be passed and approved. Second. Moved by Catlin, seconded by Party, that ordinance number 16-063 be passed and approved. Who's going to take this? I'll take this one. Tobias? This is another one of our cleanup measures as we were looking through our city codes. We identified we had two city codes that dealt with essentially very similar topics. 13-38 dealt with selling goods on public streets or public parking lots. It needed city council approval. 19-13 dealt with commercial activity on any park or park roadway just simply need approval from the public properties department. Led to some confusion, we thought we'd just make it simple, put everything into one basket, hence amend the uh, 1338 to basically says, if you wanna sell anything on city property, you come to city council and get approval. 19-13 goes away. Comments, questions? Anybody? Anybody from, from the public? All right, your vote, please. And that is approved 7-0. Ordinance number 16-063 has been passed and adopted. Next item on the agenda is the public forum. Purpose of the public forum is for the presentation of an item by the general public to the city council for consideration at a later date. No discussion or action will be taken by the city council at this time. Anyone from the city council have anything for the, cons uh, for the um, public forum? We do have some folks in the audience that was uh, uh, property owners in the area that are concerned about or were concerned about the Blue Stem project, uh, putting up the uh, wind turbines, uh, one to three wind turbines, and Blue Stem Energy has 
uh, following the re recommendation of the Board of Public Works uh, to not proceed with this program, Blue Stem uh, now has uh, consented to withdraw their application. So at this point, uh, there is uh, no action that will be taken uh, now or uh, in the foreseeable future. Um, and if there's any questions from anybody from uh, the audience, uh, we can certainly entertain those questions, but again, we can't fully discuss it because it's not an agenda item because the application has been withdrawn. Okay? All right. We're going to move on then to item number seven, and it is discussion of electric rates for 2017. Mayor, I move that the electric rates remain unchanged for 2017 as recommended by the Board of Public Works. Second. Moved by Catlin, seconded by Kerr, that the electric rates remain unchanged for 2017 as recommended by the Beatrice Board of Public Works. Tobias? For the 2017 year, MPD <coughs> is imposing a 0.6% rate increase. Thank you for coming, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead. Uh, MPD is imposing a 0.6% rate increase on the city of Beatrice. This rate increase is a result of increase in transmission charges. Uh, those are charges that we'll pay whether we're with MPD or with AEP or anybody else out there on the market. Um, after looking at the financials for the electric department, uh, Linda Cook, Pat Feist, and I made the recommendation uh, that we do not pass on this rate increase. Uh, while MPB is increasing rates, our recommendation is that the city of Beatrice use our current uh, cash reserves, absorb this rate increase, uh, and wait to see what happens next year. One question came before the BPW board was if in the middle of the year MPBD decides to raise their rates, they have the right to do that. If the ice storm came through, you know, next week or something else occurred, if they needed a reason to increase uh, their rates, they would have the ability to do that. You would then also have the ability to reassess uh, their rate increase at that point and decide how you'd want to respond to that. But at this time, we're recommending a zero for 2017. Questions, comments? Anyone from the public? All right, your vote please. And that is approved 7-0. Next regular city council meeting is going to be on December 19th, 2016 at 7 o'clock right in these chambers. We'll have a work session towards the end of the year on December 27th, 2016 at 7 o'clock. Mr. Catlin, motion Mayor, to adjourn. I move that the meeting be adjourned at 7.18 p.m. Second. Moved by Catlin, second by Billsbach that the meeting be adjourned at 7.18 p.m. Your vote, please. And that is approved 7-0. You guys came on the right night. You guys lucked out. <laughs>